Okay, Priyansu, what is happening in your life nowadays? Sir, right now I am preparing for the defense exams and especially right now I am also preparing for the CAPF interview. Before that, I am only preparing for that. Okay, so your first choice is armed forces or central armed police forces at this time? Sir, right now it is central armed police forces, but I am giving both the exams. So, your first preference, first, just rank 1 and 2 in CAPF and armed forces. Sir, both are equally good. I, I cannot don't, decide Don't which give one is... diplomatic answer. I know diplomatic answers. I wanted just rank one or two. If, for example, you are having in CAPF five choices, one, two, three, four, five, then you will write in all forces uh, one, 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 one. No, no. Yes, sir. So simple, either one or two. For example, if a person, uh, for example, in your state, there is an IAS officer. He was saying uh, ki my father wanted uh, ki I should be also a police, uh, means uh, SHO also and uh, IAS also. So it, is it possible ki the person will be IAS also and Thanedar also? Yes, sir. So now, now I hope you understood the things. Yes, sir. Then reply. Sir, CAPF. Okay. Yes. Is it the things ki you are appearing in a CAPF interview? That's why you are saying? No, sir. Uh, CAPF uh, has its own advantages over armed forces, but I like to say that both are equally good and they are providing excellent career opportunities. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. What are your strengths to become an assistant commandant? Sir, first one is my biggest strength is that I am a responsible person. Second strength is that I am a very mentally tough person. I am very calm and composed personality, so I can handle the pressure easily. Third is that uh, I can take uh, the responsibility of others. And I think I have leadership qualities which are required okay. to okay. be a leader in armed forces. Okay. You said you are mentally very tough. Can you yes, give some example or something? Like sir, uh, I'm. I have been giving several exams, and I have faced failures. But with each failures, I have learned new things, and they did not uh, disappoint me. But instead, they are an opportunity for me to learn. They give me new learnings, and this is one sign of my mental toughness. Okay. Second is that uh, since I am a long distance runner. So I can endure the pain for a very long time. So this is also comes under mental toughness. Okay, okay, okay. What are your some of the soft skills? Because it is not just uh, mental toughness is required and physical. Obviously, physical stamina, mental strength is required. But at the same time, once you become a commander, you also need to be having soft skill uh, so that you can manage your personal better. So what are the soft skills you are having? Sir, I am uh, good at uh, uh, interaction with... Uh, I will be having... Uh, I can have good interaction with my Jawan. I, so I, I can pass uh, on no, I am saying what soft skills you are having. Sir, I don't know the exact uh, skills which come under soft skills, sir. You you have not gone through any soft skills. For example... I don't know the exact... Okay. Yes, For sir. Example, Can you elaborate? Yes. Okay. If I am considering you 
as an aspirant who for example needs uh, to be talked to nicely it is a softer skill otherwise for example in uh, you are appearing in interview in closed room in air conditioned room this is the things na ki soft things you are being provided otherwise your interview could yes, have sir. been in a uh, uh, hot summer weather also na so in yes sir so this is obviously this is not soft skill soft skill is for example sympathy empathy okay uh, to understand the emotion so emotional intelligence these are a uh, soft skills okay so yes, you are having this type of things yes sir i have these skills but okay. initially i was not uh, aware of the meaning of the soft skill okay so, okay anand sir yes yeah. so priyanshu do you consider yourself as a leader yes sir i consider what? myself as a leader okay what what exactly are leadership qualities sir leadership qualities uh, are many qualities such as that person is, has very good uh, intelligence quotient good emotional quotient he is a very empathetic a leader has good professional skills and professional knowledge he led leader lead from the front and he is inspiration to others okay so yes. do you consider zelensky as a good leader zelensky certainly sir he is a good leader that he is projecting itself as a strong and resilient person in the face of war so it is i think because of the zelensky uh, leadership that uh, ukraine is sustaining itself and it is giving a boost moral booster for the ukrainian forces but don't you consider this war as unnecessary sir war uh, sir uh, according to me this war can be considered as unnecessary because it could have been avoided through the negotiation and talks so it would not have been uh, this increase Uh, intensified to such an extent which we are seeing so, right now so russia clearly told zelensky that he should not join nato but even then he said that no i am going to join nato which is why they they went went for a war so so how how can you say that zelensky is a zelensky has showed good leadership skills here sir every nation has its own threat perception and security concerns so ukraine was having his own security concerns because of the over interference from the russian side so he so he took the decision to join the nato in order to protect his country don't you think america has also interfered in uh, ukraine Yes, the situation has become very complex due to the interference from the western side also in the Ukraine. They are supporting the Ukraine side. Tell me how sex ratio has improved in Haryana. Sir, sex ratio has improved significantly in Haryana. Considering the two thousand eleven census, it was eight hundred and thirty four per thousand. males now according to national family health survey 5 it has increased to 928 yeah due to what, several what, in, yeah what initiatives due to the several initiative like beti bachao beti padhao campaign which was uh, started in uh, which was started in uh, haryana itself in panipat district and and also the strict uh, vigilance among uh, uh, in the hospitals that whoever is indulging in the uh, sex determination uh, and female feticide they are severely punished and effective 
monitoring is also being implemented and the sports have also changed the attitude uh, towards women in haryana okay so do you think uh, did khap panchayat play any role in this in the improvement of sex ratio sir khap some of the khaps have passed the resolution after the beti bachao beti padhao campaign that Uh, they have passed the resolution that no one will indulge in the female feticide and they will promote fe- uh, girls education so to some extent we can say that khap panchayat have played their role as well but mostly it was from the government side okay yes. so how do you rate gurgaon as a smart city sir gurugram has a good service infrastructure but in terms of uh, uh, planning we cannot say that gurugram is a good city because of unplanned it can be called as a unplanned city it is not okay. planned very well yeah. can you give some more reasons sir uh, in gurugram several it companies uh, uh, are are there and uh, due to which it has got its uh, distinction as a major it hub in the north india but if we consider about the infrastructure like uh, there are several traffic jams in gurugram so and also the uh, waste problem of waste disposal is also there okay mm, okay o- ours is a welfare state so why are the prices of medical drugs so high and what can be done about it sir uh, in india most of the drugs are sold by the private companies and in the supply chain because uh, medicine is a such a commodity that anyone is willing to pay any price so they are charging very high so in order to rectify this some of the steps can be taken is that the promotion of generic drugs instead of the label of company so doctors doctors should prescribe the salt uh, of the medicine and this okay and i doctors... understand about the generic drug yes. no that is fine so you said yes. generic drug like right? what is the issue with the generic drug i mean why we we don't see more generic drugs because of the doctors who gave prescription they directly wrote the name of the medicine commercial name of name of that medicine is it just because that see i am saying even we I are not so, making sir. see even we are not making more generic drugs for lot lot many drugs so i am talking about that what is the exact issue and other issue is that active pharmaceutical in- ingredients which we are importing from china is also don't a reason think, i think don't you think license play a big role here even for making a generic drug you require a license and getting license is very very difficult yes sir but i have limited knowledge in the, in the, on this topic sir okay no problem what what do yes. you understand by debt saving sir can you repeat the question uh, what do you understand by debt ceiling d e b t debt debt ceiling sorry sir i am not aware about that okay uh, why is karnal named as karnal sorry sir i am not aware about that okay no problem uh, so we hear the phrase democracy is in danger so many times uh for the past 2 3 years right do you think the democracy is really in danger in your opinion 
sir i don't think that democracy is, is in danger because uh, ours is a pluralistic country with diversity so and elections are happening in free and fair manner all the institutions are working properly so i think uh, all the checks and balances are in place and i think our democracy is in safe hands okay tell me just three things about haryana which excites you about the future of haryana three things sir haryana has a huge potential in terms of uh, production so uh, manufacturing it can be a, it can be a major hub of manufacturing actually it is also on right now but in future it will have major growth in manufacturing sector second is that its are there contribution any, are there any laws passed by the current uh state government to increase manufacturing right now i am not aware about that sir but because of its location uh, near national capital region and uh, in uh, betterment uh, in the road infrastructure so it will uh, have good e economic prospects in the future second is regarding sir uh, it has a very huge potential uh, in terms of sports sports sector also so right now it is also playing important role but in coming future because of the active promotion by the state government in the sports sector more budding athletes and which will uh, give more medals to the country okay so uh, you said right that uh, yeah haryana is good in sports which we all know right so don't you think genetics yes. uh, plays a, a huge role in sports sir it is mainly uh, we cannot say that genetics plays a role because it is uh, because of the environment and the promotion which is sports get it can make uh, athletes good just because of that is it but but some uh, inherent advantages can be given like in basketball tall players will perform better so okay ranjit sir okay okay priyanshu what is uh, body mass index bmi index body mass index is a measure of one's person health whether he is a underweight uh, in normal weight category or he is a overweight what is it is calculated your bmi index sir it is 22 okay okay good your caste name is bairagi okay yes so in general what is the meaning of bairagi sir vairagi is someone who has uh, detached itself from the worldly affairs so he can be called a saint okay. he has yeah. let us take uh, for example you are in uh, the team of indian delegates you are leading the team and you went you visited ukraine at this time to a study about war situation war impact or learning and government of india once you come man honorable minister uh, calls you he has priyanshu what you learned in the war uh, give a presentation so that we can uh, improve our indian armed forces security arrangement etc then some of your observation what you will present sir first my first observation will be that uh, in terms of while studying uh, russia ukraine war one thing 
is that we have to consolidate an area if we are in an offensive position before going further we have to consolidate that position the supply line plays an important role in the war so by controlling an area fully and then making itself well fortified then we should proceed uh, next okay okay let us take example you become an assistant commandant means you are okay. self dependent in life you are having good job you can get a good salary and you wanted to marry a girl of your choice but your society your locality or so called khap panchayat did not allow you uh, you can not marry with that girl how you will respond to that situation sir since society is progressing i will marry the girl of my choice and i will convince my parents regarding it so yes uh, with but, the but, period of time everyone will okay. accept but uh, your yes. father your parents say is saying ki dear you will be in job somewhere else you can take your wife with yourself but i will be here so society uh, is against you against this proposal so how you will convince him sir uh, i will tell my father that uh, lot of things are happening in the society society is uh, uh, having uh, liberal thoughts and everyone is accepting now uh, this is not a big issue and with over a period of time everyone will accept it okay uh recently or uh, means for a uh, long period you can say our uh, wrestlers of haryana mainly or you can uh, not say just haryana means wrestlers some of the wrestlers are fighting for some of the issues against the uh, wrestling federation of india chairman or uh, head uh, can you say what is the development of that uh, issue at this time sir yesterday delhi police has recorded the statements and also uh, summoned the wfi president brish bhushan charan singh for the questioning okay so you are studied in sainika school so in which class you entered in sainika school sir i got admission in class 6 before that you were in which school before that uh, i i was in my village school okay it was government or private it was a small private school okay 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 so in sainika school is there a ranking system ki you got all india rank like thing yes sir there was a ranking system at that that point okay. of time so what was your all india ranking sir i got 33rd rank okay okay that's great so uh, sainika school teaches for example or you can say ki prepare gentleman cadets uh, attitude learning skills etc okay so in order to become gentleman cadets they are for example uh, also teaching some officers like quality you should develop officers like quality can you tell me some of the olqs obviously there is not uh, a definite list because different person uh, gives different list but any of uh, four to five olq can you give yes sir first one sir is the some uh, qualities related to mind person has effective intelligence and mental stamina uh, good uh, social influence effective uh, leadership and uh, determination okay. responsible sense of responsibility is very high team work you are studied in uh, graduation level economics also 
Have you heard yes. about David Ricardo? Yes, sir. Any of his theory, anything? Sir, uh, he has given a theory regarding the rent. Yes. yes. Regarding can, theory of yes. rent. Yes. Can you just uh, explain little? Right now, I am not able Any, to recall. Anything. If he has given about rent in layman term, from where he will collect rent? That you should tell now. He was asking about house rent. He was, sir, uh, telling about the rent uh, regarding the land, uh, which particular set of land fetches how much rent. Yes, that, that, that was required. Na? He, what David Ricardo said, he, at that time, land was one of the precious resource. So the worst case, worst type of land will not fetch any rent. But the best quality of land will fetch higher rent. So that's the thing. Ki the uh, rent is directly proportional to the quality of uh, land available. So worst quality obviously will not uh, fetch any uh, rent. If you are paying higher rent, then obviously you will expect a better return. Na? Yes. Okay. So are you aware about uh, what all about uh, Article 355? Article, yes, sir. Yes, tell me. Sir, Article 355 states that it is the responsibility of union uh, to maintain law and order situation if the situation gets out of control from the hands of the states. Okay, okay. Just for example, in your name, Priyansu, you are writing Chaudhary Sahab Rai Bahadur Priyansu. Then you will violate which article of Indian Constitution? Sir, Article 18. Sure. Yes, sir. What is Article 20? Sir, Article 20 is related to the protection uh, from the some protection against some offenses. Like? Like, uh, Article 20 is providing some fundamental right, uh, fundamental right uh, to the person who is uh, con uh, convicted or arrested person. It gives certain rights to, to that person. You are beating around the booze. Have you heard beating around the booze? Yes, sir. So you are beating around the bus. Can you refine little? Sir, in Article 20, uh, first principle is no double jeopardy. That one person, a person cannot be convicted more than once for the same crime committed. Okay. And second is that no self-incrimination. A person cannot be uh, forced to be a witness against himself. Okay. So you also study geography. Okay. Yes, sir. What is the uh, average altitude of uh, Haryana from mean sea level? Sir, it is 250 meters. Okay, okay, okay. So Haryana, for example, is an agricultural land. Can you say yes. me about regarding soil in Haryana? Ki which type of soil is found there? Sir, uh, in Haryana, mainly alluvial soil is found. Okay, okay, okay. So which constituent uh, elements are there uh, in alluvial soil? Major constituent of that soil? Sorry, sir. Right now, I am not able to recall the constituents of alluvial soil. Can you tell me four of the rivers which are flowing through Haryana? Yes, sir. Continue. First one is the 
फर्स्ट वन इज यमुना सेकेंड इज द गगर थर्ड वॉज सरस्वती नाउ इट हैज बिकम ए फर्मर नेक्स्ट फोर्थ वन आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिकॉर्ड ओके ओके नो प्रॉब्लम